dress right now. You guys can tell my shiny tummy. I really lathered her up. So I got stretch marks. Whew, I'm out of breath. Um, but look at how funny this is. I just can't. The body is insane. I just literally think it's amazing. Every day that I get dressed, I am like so in awe of my tummy and my body and what women can do, man. It's crazy. But all right, let me finish getting dressed. I'll say good morning and I'll show you guys now. All right, hello you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. This is like my official hey, how are ya? Uh, welcome back. So today is Monday. I am getting dressed. I actually just finished getting dressed. Um, I have a OB appointment this morning. Check on a little baby girl. And then uh, I have to run some errands, do some stuff around the house, and then go to work today. So I just figured, why not vlog? And I'm gonna show you guys my outfit right now um, because it's like kind of cute, kind of wintry. You can tell I live in New York because <laughs> all we do is wear black in New York, okay? No matter where you are in the state, you just you just wear black in the winter. It's like kind of a rule. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then I gotta go. So here is a little overview of my look today. Like I said, in the winter I practically always wear black. <laughs> I just put my hair up in a tight, tight bun. It's dirty, can't mess with it today. I'll wash it tomorrow. <laughs> I have on this scarf from, I'm pretty sure this scarf is from airy if i'm not mistaken and then my coat is actually zara a few seasons ago but they literally sell this like every season so you should be able to find it i have on like a long sleeve t-shirt underneath this is actually from the brand cuddle duds they're made for layering but i absolutely love them like all the time i love wearing them uh you can find them at target and kohl's they're amazing um so i got that on just for my little bump some leggings from Airy. These are like my favorite leggings. They're also a dupe for the Lululemons, cheaper too. So highly recommend. And then I just have on some ankle socks and my Air Force Ones. And then this backpack from BCBG, just a little pop of color. So yeah, that's my look. I gotta go put my jewelry on and then we're gonna get out the door. I need some lip balm because my lips are so chapped. Um, this is actually really a really good lip balm. This is from Summer Fridays. This is the vanilla flavor. So good. Okay, I gotta fill up my water bottle. All right, you guys gonna be good? When we leave our house now, Poe has to be locked up in a crate. He used to do it when we first got him, but then he got so good that we didn't have to. Get in your bed, buddy. Get in your bed. There you go, good boy. But now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, he literally tears up our house and just causes a ruckus. So he has to be crated, but he luckily does really good with it that we never have to worry. I had to run back into the house too because I literally told you guys I need to put my jewelry on and then I forgot. All right, you guys, so the errands I have to run today. Sorry, my half my face is covered by this scarf, but it's necessary because it's freaking cold out. Um, but don't think I'm complaining because I actually love the winter. I'm a winter girl. I could live in this weather all the time. Anyways, the errands I have to run today are my OB appointment. Because <clears throat> now I go every two weeks um, because I entered my third trimester last week. So I will now be 29 weeks this week. Which is wild. Like, this is going by so fast. Um, but anyways, I have to go to my OB appointment, do a little checkup, like usual. But anyways, going to my regular checkup appointment, do all the things. I'm actually curious to see how much weight I've gained since the new year. I actually haven't gained that much weight, which is crazy because my mom, when she was pregnant, I mean, I guess this could be a wives' tale, but I don't know, but when my mom was pregnant, she gained a lot she said with all three of us but so far entering my third trimester the last time I went two weeks ago I only gained 14 pounds so I don't know but we, we shall see <laughs> um, okay so then after my OB appointment I need to go to the UPS store to return a rug I got a rug for the baby's room which actually I can show you guys the baby's room today it's not done but you guys can see the progress that's been made on it um, so I'll definitely show you guys that today. 
but I got a rug for her off Amazon. And this is one of those scenarios where like it's expectations versus reality. You order something online and then it comes and it's nothing like the photo. I ordered this rug that was like supposed to be like this beige color and it was supposed to be like really, really fluffy and just like cozy to sit on. And it was just gonna be like the perfect rub rug for a baby's room especially when she does like tummy time and stuff like that. Like it would have been perfect. Steve loved it, it was great. <sighs> you guys, I ordered this rug and it came in the mail. It came to, came in this small box and it was like vacuum sealed and it was as thin as a paper. <laughs> it was not fluffy at all and it just was not it, you guys. <laughs> so I have to return that. Also, it wasn't even beige, it was like this like it's like this pink, weird color. And I'm not a huge fan of pink in general. I've never really liked the color pink. Um, maybe like a mauve beige pink I like, but I'm not really a pink person. So her room is gonna have little to no pink in it. And just keeping it neutral and simple. So this rug's going back. So returning that today. So we gotta go to the UPS store and we also have to go to the post office as well because I have to return, um, no, I don't have to return. I have to mail some Poshmark orders because I did not expect, I posted a ton of stuff on Poshmark last week and I think almost all of it has sold. I think the only things that didn't really sell were like maybe like a couple bags and, um, two pairs of shorts, but it's not summer, so I don't think people are like thinking about that right now, so I think that's why, but yeah, so. After all those errands are done, I am just gonna kinda hang out at home for the day, clean up around the house, and um, you know, do all the little homey things that you gotta do. And then later tonight, I actually have to leave the house once again because I have to do a bridal trial um, for a client. She's actually getting married. I think it's in two weeks she's getting married. We were supposed to do her trial last week, but there was a snowstorm, so couldn't go in. Um, so we moved it to today. So normally I don't work on Mondays, but today, today we gotta. And you know what, that's okay. I'm gonna go to my apartment. Can't really like film in there, but if I get anything, I'll let you guys know the updates after. Whew, all right. Everything is good with baby girl. And uh, yeah. We talked about hospital plans. Ah! Craziness. Can't believe it. Anyways, I'm gonna call my mom real quick. Give her a little update. I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna make a sub and this is kind of my solution. I realized I had um, chicken patties in the freezer. Like these like chicken patties. <laughs> so that'll be my protein. And basically what I'm gonna do is like make like a sub out of it. So, all right, so this is what I'm gonna do for my little sub fixing. I got these rolls yesterday at Wegmans. They're just regular sub rolls. And I'm gonna put tomato, a little bit of onion, I've got some peppers, some provolone, arugula, cucumber, and then I also have these chicken patties. I'm gonna use that instead for my meat and then put like a little dressing on it. And we should be good to fulfill, fulfill the tummy of wanting a sub, okay? This looks good already, and it's just gonna get better. Just gonna get better. I'm gonna add a little bit of this, what is this, white balsamic to a bowl. Because I like to dip my, my sandwiches and subs instead of putting it on there. There we have it. Nice little sub. I uh, finished my lunch, but I just took like a little like break on the couch because I just, felt like I needed to just chill on the couch for a minute. My tummy gets like really bloated when I eat. 
obviously <laughs> this baby in there but it just gets like to be sometimes like a lot so i have to like sit for a minute so i just hung out on the couch for a second and watched a couple of youtube videos and chilled now i'm gonna clean up the kitchen because this mess is from lunch and um then we're gonna go upstairs and do some cleaning upstairs kind of, and i'll show you guys the baby's room because it's getting to be so cute although it's like not done at all <laughs> there's a whole lot more that needs to go in there but i'll show you guys the start of it and then you guys can see the end product too when we finish that okay you guys i am in little girl's room so crazy um i know i was talking about the color pink earlier and then you guys are seeing pink in this mirror but this will probably be like one of the only pink decor things she'll have in here. <laughs> this mirror actually has a little bit of symbolicness for me, I guess you could say. Um, I actually thrifted this mirror from like, Savers, just the thrift store. Um, I actually was just grabbing a bunch of things for our wedding. And this was there. And I actually did my wedding makeup in this mirror with my nieces hanging out with me too. So I got ready, actually my wedding hair and makeup I did in front of this mirror at my parents' house. So I kept it in hopes that one day I could use it in our house. And then when I was cleaning out this room, because this used to be my closet room, I was like, this would be perfect if we're having a little girl. So when we found out it was a girl, I knew that this mirror was going to stay. So. This is where that mirror is from. But anyways, we're in her room. I'll give you guys a little mini tour and give you guys a little story about what's gonna happen to this room and what changes and stuff and like things are gonna be changing and moving and all that jazz. So let's get started. All right, so we come in to her room. This is a little overview. You guys can tell it's so bare. Um, it's gonna be filled very, very soon. Over in this corner, um, I'm actually gonna put her like rocker recliner. Here, when we get that, we have one picked out. Um, we just have to get it basically. So, I'm gonna have that over here. I'm gonna have like a table for like, you know, my water bottle, a little like cart for like breastfeeding stuff and like feeding things and stuff. So, I'm gonna have like this all set up for that. This is not gonna stay. I just kind of have to find a home for it. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put this, but this is going to go somewhere. It just has like winter stuff in it, like gloves and hats and things and stuff. But if it fits in her room, I'll keep it, but with the color scheme that we're doing, it's going to stand out like a sore thumb, so I don't think we're going to keep it in here. These curtains um, were actually the curtains I had in here when I put all my stuff in here for my closet, but now we're going to take them out because, um, first of all, they're not light they're not blackout curtains so they are a little sheer so they show some light through so when she's napping it's just not going to work so um i did get some blackout curtains from amazon and they're just like this gray color still like a shabby chic kind of vibe to give more of like a vintagey girly feel without being like crazy girly so yeah this is what they look like basically so but these are blackout curtains we're also going to get blinds as well to put down as well to just maximize the amount of darkness we can get into this room so that's what's going to happen both of those windows this is her little bouncer um this was actually given to me by my sister-in-law she had two of them and this one she didn't really even use at all so we got so lucky we took that from her she gave us a bunch of toys i got a new basket for this i just have to basically order it it's in my amazon cart but um i haven't ordered it yet so we're gonna have a little basket for toys and then we have a little shelf over here this is not how it's staying i just kind of threw some stuff up there it'll probably change into like some t other type of shelf but for right now this is what it is um <laughs> during our gender reveal so many people gave us stuffed animals so we have so many stuffed animals this one's my favorite it's from my friend Nicole and she knows we have an obsession with lions and then like between me and Steve I even have a lion tattoo so only fitting she has a lion Nicole understood the assignment for this one <laughs> and then um, these are actually vintage these are from Steve's grandma so two little jewelry boxes I think once I figure out how to set this up I'm gonna put like her bows and like hair stuff in one of these 
or obviously in this one because it won't fit in there <laughs> and just have it all set up for her and then these are gonna go I think I'm gonna put some shelves up on this wall and just do like scattered floating shelves I don't know how many but some and definitely like some art over here would be pretty so I've got to figure that out but these are not gonna stay on here these are actually super super old um bare ceramics they're from my grandma my grandma actually passed away and she had an obsession with bears which is why i think i kind of love bears too um like my whole shower is gonna be bear themed so <laughs> i think that's where it comes from but anyways these i want to live i want these i want to live safely up on the wall on the shelf so that way the baby can't knock them down or somebody walking can't just like hit them and knock them down I want them to be kind of secure and safe and up and away so yeah those are there diffuser as always um is this weird I still have my p-tests you guys that might be weird but they're still there <laughs> they're not gonna be a decor piece I promise they're just in here um again with the teddy bears look at how cute this one I think its name is honey bear or something Steven knows the name for it but this was his grandma's and his grandma just passed away on Thanksgiving which was why in my last couple vlogs we were always doing stuff with his family going through things and stuff um that is why he lost his grandma recently and this bear was hers and it's literally so soft and just like you just want to cuddle with it so this is going to hang out in her room um it's only fitting you know we got the dresser in here this is actually my dresser um where i don't even know i think this is i thrifted this from my mom's friend like this was totally a hand-me-down from somebody and it was my dresser but then I wanted something bigger which i can show you guys that dresser it's actually a really cool dresser um i found it on facebook marketplace so I've given her this dresser because the, the height is literally perfect for changing her, at least at least for me. My husband, who is 6'2", he might have to bend a little bit, but that's okay. He'll be fine. <laughs> but it's perfect for me. So um, I asked for a changing pad on our registry. So um, yeah, we'll get that and we'll put that up here. So it'll be all set up. And then what I plan to do is this first drawer... This stuff is not staying in here. It's just in here. Um, but this first drawer I'm going to organize with like dividers. And it's going to have like diapers, wipes. Um, you know, all the changing necessities. And then go to her clothes there on out. But also, by the way, <laughs> random two diapers in here. Isn't this crazy? Look at This is the size of my hand. This is newborn size diapers. Absolutely insane. Um, I had these though <laughs> because... I don't know why I have two random diapers, but I bought these, what was it, like last year or something. Penny got her period before she was able to get a fixing. Like we had her fixing scheduled and then she got her period. So <laughs> we tried putting diapers on her until she was over her period, but I call it a period by the way. Um, but yeah, that didn't work. So these did not fit her. So we have like two extra newborn diapers. That's why those are in there, like to the left of the dresser. I think I'm going to put like a hamper or like an organizing cart or something, probably a hamper over here. And then I want to do some like wall stuff over here. I even thought about like painting a rainbow of some sort or I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm thinking about it, but something definitely has to go on this wall. And then... Over here is her crib. I love this because this is not staying. Um, here's her crib. We don't have a mattress, but still a great crib. Actually, like a really nice crib. Um, if you guys are having a baby, think about having a baby or whatever, need a crib recommendation, regardless. This one's amazing. This is the Baby Leto. I don't know the name of it, but it's like the most popular Baby Leto crib. It's on Pottery Barn. Comes in so many different color ranges. It's really really nice but it's also like I'm 5'2 my belly button's right here but that's like baby belly button <laughs> so I mean it's it comes up to you pretty good and I can get in here pretty nicely without like hurting myself so love this it's on the 
highest setting. So it does come, like it, the baby, it's not pretty. I think some cribs that are taller, maybe that's why it looks like that to me, but it looks super low for like an infant version, but that's the highest setting it goes. And then it goes down two to three more notches, those little holes over there. And that's like the advanced, like when she's like big girl status, you know what I mean? Um, and then it turns into a toddler bed. So we really, really like this crib so far. Obviously we haven't used it, but we really like it. Um, easy to assemble. I think Steve set it up within like under 30 minutes. It was super easy, very self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, and Steve actually, I have to tell you guys this because I actually thought it was so cute that he was even thinking about this. Um, like I have a friend who is a single mom. She's doing it on her own. And uh, he even said as he was assembling this, he's like, even if there are single moms out there, this crib was easy enough to assemble that he thinks with confidence, any mama could do it by herself. Like, so that's comforting to hear. He didn't want me to do it because he was like, I'm putting the crib together, which was fine. But um, I thought it was cute that he thought about, you know, different scenarios and other people and stuff like that. So if you're a single mama out there, got a baby on the way or whatever, girl, he said this crib was easy enough to do. So just so you know. And yeah, I just kind of threw some blankets and stuff in here. Just, I didn't know where to put all these things, you know? So I just kind of threw it in her crib. Um, this is adorable. I just thought this was so cute. This is from my mom's friend. It's like a little blankie, little bunny blankie. Um, more bears. <laughs> these are actually my grandma's bears as well. So I'm gonna do something with those. Um, and yeah, how cute. So yeah, it's a little overview of her room. And then actually above the crib, we have this vision for these like paintings to go up here. We're trying to find like animal paintings that are like safari based, but not done in a way where it's like too like cartoony. We want it kind of like artistically done, maybe like vintage vibe too, you know? So we're gonna try and figure out something, whether there's like six of them, two of them, four of them. I even saw like a mama bear and a baby bear like giving each other a kiss. So I was like, that'd be cute. I don't know, we're figuring that out, but there is gonna be some animal type painting going up above her crib. I do have stuff like in her closet, but that's all gonna get organized and put in other places as well. But look at this cute little outfit my sister-in-law gave me. It was one of my nieces. I think this was Josephine's. But I don't think she got to wear it very long. And I just think it's the cutest thing ever. My mom got me this one. How cute. Neutral vibes. Oh, my mom got this one too. My mom got an outfit because she thought, she's like, I knew the baby was a girl. And she got an outfit for the gender reveal. And she didn't even buy a boy one. She just bought a girl one. Cause she was like, I know it's a girl. And she just got a cute little outfit and gave it to me on the gender reveal day. And it's got a little bear butt. And I just think it's the cutest thing. I'm telling you, bears are a thing for me. I don't know why, but how cute is that? That's baby girl's room. You guys will know her name. Well, you guys will, she does have a name, but you guys will know that when she's born. <laughs> Cause I ain't sharing yet. I meant to tell you guys earlier today too. I like got sidetracked, okay? I was on my phone answering text message and the next thing you know, I'm freaking on TikTok. But um, it made me think of this, that I, I forgot to tell you guys, I made a TikTok this morning about my outfit. <laughs> so I feel like I want to get into like the TikTok space. Yes, I still have not progressed on my bed. But anyways, um, I feel like I want to like get into like those fun videos because the version of TikTok I'm on, comment below and let me know what version of TikTok you guys are on. The version of TikTok I'm on is like outfit inspo, mommy life, um, daily like positive vibes you know, like skincare routines. Like I'm basically on the YouTube version that I watch on TikTok or it's like daily vlogging and stuff like that. But I don't know, it's kind of fun. I had a fun time making just like my outfit video for TikTok today. So if you guys wanna check it out, it's uh, literally just my Instagram name, Cassie Depke. Um, and go check that out. It's got my face as my picture, so you'll find me. But um, yeah, anyways, <laughs> I was like, I meant to tell you guys, I'm like, I don't feel old anymore. I made a TikTok. <laughs> Although I texted my brother when I made my first TikTok about like, 
you know, 2021 being over and like heading into the new year. And I like texted and was like, how do people do this? Like, I am so confused, but I accomplished this one and it's kind of cute. So if you guys want to watch it, maybe down below. Hey you guys, I completely forgot to finish vlogging last night after I got to work. I got so in the zone to set up for my client and like get everything ready that I never got to show you guys my setup, anything. So I'm sorry if you were looking forward to that, but um, don't worry, I will have some like day in the life of a hairstylist videos coming up and then you guys can get more behind the scenes that way because it'll be a fully dedicated video to that. Um, but anyways, today's the next day and I'm at my brother's house right now. I watch my nieces on Tuesdays and they're currently sleeping, taking a nap. So I am just sitting in their kitchen. Actually, their kitchen has really great lighting, which I'm kind of jealous of, but whatever. I'm sitting in their kitchen and I'm going over just some like baby shower stuff. I'm trying to find, I have like a bunch of stuff saved for like the vibe that I like. Um, I'll show you guys kind of like what I'm thinking and um, I want to order some stuff today like signage and like little things like that but this is kind of what I'm looking at right now like this is the vibe for the signage I had just have to pick one basically okay so this is kind of the look I'm going for very bohemian you guys know my style I think I'm going to choose something very simplistic though. I don't want anything crazy. So this is kind of what I'm thinking between these two. Or even this one isn't so bad. I'm going for like a teddy bear theme also and like neutral beiges, stuff like that. And then I'm thinking about making name tags and like placing everybody in their own seat. I'm loving this to kind of tie in that boho vibe but I also don't mind something like this where it's just like really really simple but we'll see so that's kind of the look for that right now um I'm just trying to get everything kind of gathered and put together um so I can kind of just be ahead of it and then just tell the venue this is what we're doing my mom picked out all the food today so it should be good the shower's not till next month but um, I'm just trying to be ahead of everything, especially with the baby. Everything is so unpredictable. So I'm trying to like really be on top of things, you know? But yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to be here today watching the babies. So I just got a text message. And I don't even think I actually told you guys this, but I went for my first ever eye exam like a week ago or two weeks ago or something like that. Um, I went for an eye exam and only because my husband went the week before and was getting an eye exam and i mentioned to the person that was doing it uh we did it at target i mentioned to the girl there i was like yeah i've never had an eye exam before and she was like what <laughs> so she like insisted on getting me in for an eye exam um and i kind of always known i might have needed glasses but i never really just like acted on it i just kept saying oh i should go get an eye exam so i finally got one and sure enough, I need glasses. <laughs> my left eye has like little to no focus at all. Like everything is blurry. So um, yeah, I got glasses and I just got a text that they just came in. So I'm actually really excited. I've always wanted glasses for some reason and I wear like blue light glasses. Um, so I did get a pair of glasses that have blue light protection in them along with being my prescription, but I'm like, weirdly excited about it I don't know why Steve got glasses too he's pissed though because he got an eye exam before me and my glasses came in first so he's like what the frick but he got like a Oakley brand pair and I think those ones take a little bit longer I just got like a basic Ray-Ban pair so those ones came in a lot faster I think that's why kids are up now I must make snacks All right, we got Chef Aunt Cass over here. One's for baby, one's for big sis. Joey, you want sandwich and strawberries? 
Okay, baby. Joey, where's the baby? Not in your tummy, in Cece's tummy. Goofy. The baby's in Cece's tummy. Mm hmm Say, hey, hey. What, you want your hair cut? You want your hair cut? All right, guys. You ready to see my glasses? I got glasses. I can't believe I have glasses. Um, never had them before, clearly. <laughs> but I'm like so excited about it. Um, and I kind of just can't believe that I didn't see very well before, but now I can see great. It's weird. Like the picture, this camera, everything looks so much clearer. It's bizarre but got some glasses these are like the Ray-Ban brand I don't know any specifics but yeah pretty happy with them um definitely gonna take some getting used to though because I feel like I'm like drunk or something walking around I'm like whoa but um yeah I can take them so at home so the dogs are working um I'm gonna close out this video but I just want to show you guys my glasses real quick so Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.